What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to GNR. My name is Francisco, and today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, headset that I've been trying to find for the longest time. Oddly enough, this headset is harder to find than the console it works for. Uh, that is, of course, the 3D Pulse wireless headset for the PlayStation 5 by Sony. So without further ado, let's go. All right, so in terms of build quality, this headset, unfortunately, is an all-plastic build. There might be some sort of metal on the inside of the band, but if anything, it is covered entirely in plastic, uh, which is a little sad at the price point for $99.99. I would have expected a, at least some sort of metal reinforcement somewhere, and I'll look into that and put it down here below to see if maybe I'm wrong, right? But even though it is all plastic, I gotta tell you, it does feel pretty robust, pretty rigid. Um, as far as flexibility goes, like you can kind of flex it out quite a little bit. Although I'm a little scared to do so just because it is all plastic. Outside of the cups are plastic. The outer band is plastic. The inner band feels like a mixture of plastic and rubber. And then you have this flex headband right here. I am not a fan of these things typically. For, for, how, for as much as I don't like this actual strap here at the top, it does a pretty good job of sitting on your dome nice and comfortably. So that's the thing, right? The the plastic build is a little, it's a little cheap feeling, right? Considering you paid a hundred bucks for a headset that was damn near impossible to find, but it's comfortable. It is a very comfortable headset. I believe these are 40 millimeter drivers. And the ear cups have this really interesting design where they start off, it starts off skinnier here at the front and the cups get wider or the ear to padding at least gets wider as you get further and further to the back. So instead of the cups sitting flat up against your ears, they kind of sit like this at an angle. It's really interesting, right? So you put them on and it just it just sits nicely on your ears, surprisingly enough. And I have, I've got big ears, y'all. Let me just tell y'all the truth, okay? And 40 millimeter headphones tend to be a bit of a problem for me in terms of fit and comfort, but these guys are actually pretty comfortable even after extended periods of play. Um, as far as everything else, in terms of build and accessibility, right, we do have all of our controls right here on the left ear cup. I don't like the controls there. It's often hard for me to decipher what the difference between the volume bars and the balance bars are because they're, they feel the exact same. They, they, I mean, they literally are the exact same. Their placement is different and there is another button in between the two, but they feel the exact same. So sometimes I'm sitting here trying to play my game. I'm playing Warzone with the guys and I wanna turn the volume up and I inadvertently end up turning the balance off. So the balance goes for more to game instead of chat. So I gotta fix that again. Then I gotta come down here and try to fix the volume. And inherently this alone right here is the biggest problem of it all, especially when you're playing games like Warzone or anything like that. If you're going to be adjusting volume or any of the settings with your headphone, you need to do it when you're not in the game because this will literally take your hand off the controller onto your headset for a split second. And we all know that split second can be in a very big difference between winning and losing, uh, surviving and dying, right? If I'm lying, I'm dying. Greg Miller, what's up? Other than that, it does come with the option to be used as a wired headset with the provided 3.5 millimeter cable. It does also have a provided USB wireless dongle. I'd say for build quality, it's, it's okay. Like it's disappointing to see that it's all plastic but it's fairly durable. Uh, it is very comfortable, it is very light. You can barely feel it on your head even after extended periods of play. And even though I'm not a fan of this kind of headband right here, it actually works in this instance. The only other thing I'll note is that the headset is a very sleek looking piece of hardware. It is very pretty, it looks very nice. I love the design. I love how it matches up the two-tone colors with the PlayStation 5 console. One thing I wanna note now, before we move on to sound is that because all of your volume controls and everything else are here on the headset, if you use this wired to your PS5 controller, because for example, I, a content creator, uh, I have to use an Elgato HD60 capture card. And in order to get sound routed to the capture card, I have to use a chat link. Well, unfortunately, the cable that Sony provides to you doesn't have inline controls. Why? Because it's all right here on the ear cup, right? Well, you plug it into the controller, you plug it into your chat link, and um, these controllers are useless. They will not work wired. So any sort of volume adjusting you have to do, you actually have to do through the home menu on the PlayStation system. And that is something that is very uh, sad and unfortunate. Uh, highly inefficient, and it really just takes you out of the experience for a brief moment because I have to hit the PS button to go to the home menu, I have to go down, I have to go to volume, adjust the volume, adjust the mic volume, adjust balance, if you will, all while getting out of the game instead of being able to just control everything right here on the ear cup while I'm using it wirelessly, or like in some other headsets that I have, like for instance, I currently own the HyperX Clyde Alpha S, I have a cable with an inline volume control. 
Enough about that. Let's go ahead and move on to sound. All right, y'all. So the, in terms of sound, the three pulse wireless headset on PlayStation 5 actually delivers a pretty decent experience, right? Uh, I've played games such as Call of Duty Warzone, right? And first and foremost, I went with Warzone to really get a good idea and a good feel for what the soundstage and the directional cues of this headset were. And let me tell you this, they aren't the worst and they aren't the best, especially at the price point, but they're pretty, they're pretty good, okay? I was able to determine footsteps, uh, whether they were above or below or to my sides, I was able to determine the direction of the gunshots and where they were coming from, explosions and all this. Um, and it, it did a fairly good job of handling that kind of a situation and it allowed me to really have, I'm not going to say a competitive edge on Warzone, but at least to have an idea of where things are coming from so that I don't necessarily just go out there and just get myself wrecked like I typically always do. All scenarios using the 3D audio turned on and here, let me, I'm just going to be brutally honest with y'all for one moment, okay? 3D audio is not impressive to me, not in the least bit. There's nothing about it that I found that made a significant difference in the sound experience at all compared to stereo, compared to semi virtual surround sound, nothing at all made this experience exponentially better. It sounded good for the most part. I, I, have, I have no complaints about how 3D audio is executed and how it sounds, but it doesn't make that big of a difference. Dialogue sounds nice and crisp and clear. Ambient noise and environmental sounds sound amazing, right? Uh, the best way I can describe is, is there are instances where you can separate different sounds in the game using this headset, which I think is kind of like what 3D audio is kind of going for. Specifically in Ghost of Tsushima, uh, when there's all these ambient noises going around as you're riding around and you just hear the wind. That's the one thing, the howling wind, all right, the guiding wind in this game really stands out using this headset uh, with 3D audio turned on and it kind of separates itself from all the other sounds in the game, which sounds really, really, really good, right? But those cases are more isolated experiences as opposed to general across the board experiences. Comparably to other $100 headsets, yes, there are some better experiences out there that do not offer 3D audio, uh, but no, you're not necessarily doing yourself a disservice by buying this headset for sound. For sound, I think at $99.99, it comes in and delivers exactly what you would expect for $99.99. So uh, I guess what that leaves us with now is the microphone. All right, ladies and gents, so this is the 3 Pulse wireless headsets microphone. Um, unfortunately, using this wirelessly, I cannot record the mic audio whatsoever. The PlayStation won't let me record the microphone level adjustments because it's on the main menu, right? It's just blocked for some reason. And then um, using it wirelessly, trying to capture it with the Elgato software, impossible because it's routing the audio via USB. So my only option to record this audio is using the Elgato Chatlink cable. And there's one big problem that comes in with that. Echo. 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 Yeah. So this is kind of an idea of what the microphone is going to sound like for you. I haven't heard any of my friends say that they've heard an echo on my end, but I can definitely hear it. And there's another thing you need to know about. This microphone is incredibly sensitive. Like, oh my god. My, I'm snapping my finger very quietly. I can hear it. You hear it? It's so sensitive. It picks everything up. It's annoying. Um, but all that aside, it does sound better using the chat link as opposed to using it wirelessly. When you use it wirelessly, it sounds very hollow, almost overly compressed. It sounds awful. I, I wouldn't recommend it for the sake of my quality. At $100, though, a little disappointing. So, yeah, you be the judge. All right, y'all. So, in summary, here's the deal. This little guy right here, it's a beautiful headset. It looks very pretty, and that's about the best thing that it does. It, it's, it's really good at looking very pretty on your head. It's incredibly light. It is very comfortable. You can use this thing for hours and hours and not feel any sort of discomfort based on my experience, your experience may vary, okay? Uh, in terms of sound, it does a pretty good job with sound. The 3D audio to me at the end of the day just seems like another gimmick that really doesn't make the experience that much better. It sounds good, but it doesn't make the experience that much better. The microphone is an absolute atrocity, okay? 
And it's an atrocity because the way this whole thing is designed, all the controls are right here on the headset. You have to use it via chat link if you want to record content, at least in my experience and in my setup. And when you're using it wirelessly, it just sounds so hollow. It doesn't sound good at all. You don't need this headset to have a broadcast quality microphone on it, but at the very least, like don't sound hollowed out and overly compressed. It sounds awful when you're using it via the USB dongle. And then when you use it via chat link connected directly to your controller, you get a freaking echo. It's ridiculous for $100, absolutely ridiculous. Was this headset worth the wait, the hassle of trying to find it, having to drive to Best Buy after a long day at work, sitting there in a parking lot waiting for to deliver it to my car in a very timely manner, might I add. Great job, Best Buy. Um, no, no, not at all. This headset is not worth 100 bucks. This headset is not worth the hunt. This headset is not worth anything. Would I recommend this on sale? Sure. Do I recommend this to anybody out there who really wants a Sony branded headset? Sure. Do I recommend this to anybody who cares about build quality, sound quality, and mic quality? No, I do not recommend this to you. If you care about build quality, there are headsets that look just as good, if not maybe a little, maybe a little uglier, on a little, you know, a little on the ugly side, right? Of things, but um, at least they're built better, right? They're just as comfortable. There are headsets out there just as comfortable. Razer Black Shark V2, about the same exact price point, looks a little different. It looks like a pilot's headset, honestly. It's a lot more comfortable than this. It has way better sound and it has an incredible microphone, right? The um, HyperX Cloud 2, 100 bucks, legendary headphones, great microphone, decent microphone, great build quality, great sound quality, right? 100 bucks. Uh, HyperX Cloud Core, cheaper than this. I think you can find it for around $70 these days. So I'll double check that. Don't quote me there. All right. And you'll get better build, better sound and decent microphone. But this guy, the 3D Pulse wireless headset for the PlayStation 5 is not worth the hassle of finding it. It is not worth the $100 price point. It looks pretty and that's about the best thing that it does. Everything else is mediocre at best. Anyways, I hope y'all found a review helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment below and tell me what you think about the headset if you have it or if you have any other suggestions or questions. Feel free to leave them down below. In the meantime, be good to yourselves, be good to one another. Peace out.